Hello, my name is Sunny Lee, Product Manager with Zebra Technologies, and today we're going to show you how to properly support your Zebra. No, no, Sunny, that's not what we're doing here today. Oh, is it like more like this? No, Sunny, we're here to talk about supporting our printer product lines. Oh, you're right. And for that, they go to the URL at the bottom of the screen. You can also access the Zebra support portal by going to zebra.com and clicking on the support and downloads tab. The Zebra support portal is a one-stop shop for all support related needs for Zebra products. From the portal, you can download user guides, watch helpful tutorial videos, download firmware upgrades, submit help desk and repair cases, just to name a few. For this video, I'll be highlighting the tools with a focus on Zebra printers. However, most all of the tools and tips covered carry over into the other products as well. At the top right corner of the page, you can register for an account and log in. You will need to have a registered account in order to download firmware updates. From the home page, you can search for your products in a couple of ways. You can search and narrow down by product category, or if you scroll down until you see the big blue box, you can enter in your product name or model number. To make it easier, as you're typing in, the predictive text will try and predict what product you are searching for. You can search for hardware and software products from here. Once you see your product listed in the list, click on that item. In this example, I search for a product that I know to be discontinued. From here, I can see exactly when a product went end of sale and when it goes end of support. This is helpful if you're not sure where your product currently is in its life cycle. It will also inform you what the recommended replacement model is. If we search for a product that is actively sold and in production, you can see that the site informs you that the product is actively sold. Now let's perform a quick overview of the model support page. You can click to go to the zebra.com marketing site for that product or click to access helpful product knowledge articles. If there are any important notices or alerts, they are also highlighted at the top of the page. If we scroll down slightly, you can easily check the warranty status of your product, request a repair RMA authorization number, create an email to open up a help desk case number, or click to find your local contact support phone numbers for dial-in support. You can also download drivers and setup utilities, download firmware updates and user manuals, watch short helpful tutorial videos, access to knowledge articles, and access to the Zebra supply selector tool, as well as repair parts and accessories information. I'd like to point out one more helpful section. For that, we will return back to the main support page. Next, click on the printer's category. Next, scroll down to the printer software section. From here, you can easily access most all of the Zebra print DNA tool sets. They are categorized by the use case. From here, you can find software to help design barcode labels and cards, access drivers and setup utilities, tools to assist with Bluetooth pairing, tools to help with device management, provisioning, and security, and lastly, tools for software developers. And that was a quick overview of the Zebra support site. I hope you found this short video informative. Please stay tuned for more helpful videos from Zebra.